Okay. Looks like everything is working now. Yet to be seen how well it is working. I reset the internet, I reset my computer, restarted everything. And it still doesn't look like it's running very nicely. Still looks like it's kind of skipping around a little bit, unfortunately, but we're gonna give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll get better in a minute. Let's see, we need a real weapon. So it seems like, I think the stream is looking a little smoother now. It's definitely looking better than before, I think. So over here is where we're headed to. Do a little save there. And we can head inside. Much better. So we already feel, uh, killed the first couple of people that were in here. There will be more. It's 
not bad. I think that's everything searchable. That one was kind of hiding. Probably not a bad idea to save. Sometimes when you walk into one of these, you blow up. Our way. True to Kaisar. <laughs> well, that's not a good sign. stuff it seems okay what all do we have in here now Another kill to my name. Time to save again. There you are. Where? Where are you? There you are. Well, that didn't work. Probably have a little snack, but it doesn't look like he really took a lot of damage there at all.
Okay, so... I guess that was all the bodies. Felt like there was more. But I guess not. Now we have to go back up and actually do what we came here for. We should also save. Lots of good stuff to get in here that has absolutely nothing to do with the quest you were sent in here for. I think you have to go down a different section of the mine completely to get here than where you go to actually do the quest. where I came in. This is where I came in. So we're going this way. stuff I'm actually going to be able to pick up even if I put it all smushed together in my pocket. You can only repair so many things together <laughs> to lower your pocket weight. Well, we have enough of those. good time to save. Why? Oh, because there's someone left to kill. Fall back! I really don't think falling back is gonna solve the problem. Ah, hello! Welcome to the chat. And welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. We're just doing sort of a startup quest. Took us long enough to get here, too. I had to restart everything like twice. So you really didn't miss anything. I'm getting out of here. I can't really carry anything else, but those don't weigh anything.
Huzzah. The Legion will pay for this. Something needs to be done about this. We need to get out of here soon. We're almost done this quest, though. Is everyone and we're done in here now because it looks like we want to go back out and meet that guy on the road yeah there's nothing here I want to pick back up so now we're done here Doesn't seem right. This seems better. There. Now we hop on over here and talk to this dude. I think for the most part, it looks like the stream is doing a lot better now. It was not running very well before, but it seems to so be So any okay. word on my friends? Were? What do you mean, were? I was worried Alexis had already thrown them down a mine shaft. I'll run by camp to see how they're doing when I get a chance. Thanks for the help. done with that quest. What else do we have going on? This pretty much lines up with 
my vague goal of going and getting the pimp boy. So we could do that. Of course it did. The game crashed. It's rather unhappy today. Contemplating on whether Streamlabs could be part of the problem. Because I have other problems with it sometimes. Like sometimes things where it, it says to copy and paste things. I can't even click it and type in the box even though it's exactly the point in time when I should be pasting something in the box. I don't know, I was thinking I might try something else instead of Streamlabs. That might help, it might not. I really don't know. Is it going to do it again? Hey, look at that. So far, so good. What do you need? Bye. This bitch always just be running up to me asking me what I need with nothing to offer. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Feel free to head to our club, Brimstone, or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. <sighs> I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. So let's go find Kachino. Those cons kind of wonder hit. if that's actually that his name, or if he just picked it because it sounds like Casino. Is 
something red over there, and I don't know why. Something I hear you've been asking red. questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Business. What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. Well, that went well. So... Our options include checking his pockets. I could try and do that with a stealth boy. It's usually a good call to save before you try and sneak something out of someone's pocket if it's going to screw up the storyline if you fail it. Let's see what happens. Fucking rat, don't touch that shit. So that didn't work. Plan B. <clears throat> His room is upstairs, but we need elevators. This place smells like booze and sex. That's why I always come back. Should have a magazine for that. Almost. That's where his journal is up here. It's often just easier to grab that one than to pick his pockets. Unless you're really sneaky. I'm clearly not really sneaky. Go back down and talk to him. Holy shit, you've been in Lucky 38? You meet the overboss in there? So he would get mad if he saw you going in, but they don't care about seeing you coming out of that room. For whatever reason. I 
does my quest want? Was he up in his room? No, I'm just going the wrong way. I gotcha. Okay, there he is exactly There's where I expected him to be. You again? What the fuck do you want? Charming gentleman. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking or gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay. Th he's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. So I'm not sure... I can't remember at exactly what point in the quest you have to go back and talk to Mick and Ralph. Because if you finish going on how little MCR we know, the you fuck with our then you can no longer get the pimp boy. So I'm gonna go now and try to talk to Mick and Ralph. Oh, a new follow! Yay! Where's my Binksy boy? Come here, handsome. Hello. Here you are, sir. The people have a treat for you. Oh, can you say thank you? Oh, yeah. Oh, we dropped the treats. Oh, no. I am getting close to 100. Uh, so for anybody who's watching who's new, um, we have a thing set up that we have agreed upon, me and some of the regular people in chat. When I hit 100 followers, uh, we are going to set up a Discord. So that is something that you guys can look forward to pretty soon. We're headed to Mick and Ralph, so we're going this way. I think it's three more followers until we hit our hundred follower mark 
to set up the Discord, so we, we really are getting pretty close. for now. We can clean it up later. We have another door we have to go through, I think. Or is nothing else in here? I'm lost. Yeah, no, I have to be in the next one. That's what I thought. If they won't give us the pimp boy yet, we'll just do a little bit more of the quest we're on and at a certain point as long as you go before you finish how little we know uh, and I think you might have to go talk to Mick and Ralph and ask them how business is before the first time you go it into can Gamora be it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. I went and talked to them already and uh, did the first part. Ninety-eight. Ooh, look at that. We are one ahead of where I thought we were. You like that? I wouldn't know if I like it because you didn't teach you to mess me. with me. Moving on. What am I doing right now? I don't think I'm going the right way. No, I am going the right way. I was close, just got myself lost. Okay. Well, hello to you too. Thank you for the follow. Me and the doggo both appreciate it. Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? I guess someone has to do their dirty work. I think I need to talk to you. Come back. Welcome back, buddy. Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but... That's the thing. I have no idea. If... We can try and get rid of a couple of the things that are in our pocket, because it doesn't look like we can actually get the pimp boy yet. We must have to talk to more people in that quest before we can actually get it. Pleasure doing business with you. That'll work for now. This is faster than walking, honestly. Hey! 
So I'm thinking we have to actually go talk to the guy who is now supplying all the weapons for the Omertas. And then maybe after that we go back to Mick and Ralph and get the pimp boy. I can't remember exactly Welcome what, back to what Gamora. point in the quest you can go do that. But we're gonna get it. the lower lobby first. This isn't what I want. I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Where do you go? There we go. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Sounds like a lie. Kachino? Kachino what? Are you kidding me? You must be trying to get me killed. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Great. So I'm fucked either way. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Fun stuff, Thermite. Good boom. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, I'll place the fucking Thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Okay. Maybe now I can go talk to Mick and Ralph. I'm glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. Freeside smells like shit. Ooh, look what I did. I always have a hell of a time remembering how to get up here. A 
up there is where you find the Omerta bosses. They hang out up there. It's also an option. I'm glad they don't let just any motherfucker the through the yourself. gate. Three side smells like shit. But it is at least just as easy to have him do it. So I'm pretty sure now I can go get the pimp boy. Stuff guy. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. How lovely of him. Yeah, this way. Welcome back, buddy. Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. That's if you How's it going, friend? Looking for anything special? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping. Okay, so we are going to go and talk to this Clandon guy, and maybe after that... Welcome back to Gamora. Then maybe we can get the pimp boy, because it doesn't seem that they were going to give it to me yet. So Things I guess are getting stranger we'll go every day. upstairs and talk to Clandon. But we can't finish the quest. If you finish the quest, you also can't get the pimp boy. It's a 
careful balance. Okay, which way am I going here? In here. Gamora has the Clandon. loosest slots on the strip. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. Casino. <laughs> yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? Later. As usual, he didn't really have anything to offer. didn't work and also he doesn't have anything I need and that's why we save before we pickpocket I don't think there's really anything around here that gives him away, but I'll take that. Good to see you again. He's got nothing interesting to say. And this room doesn't have anything terribly exciting to offer. There's really anything else to learn from this room.
I'm pretty sure if I go talk to Kachino right now, it leads right into the end of the quest. sneak into these rooms and see what's in there. Stealth boy should do the job, theoretically. Or you could just kill that guy. Okay, get well the fuck out of my room. This guy. I thought I told you to get the fuck out of here. And he certainly doesn't want to chat. This is just a bathroom. That'll do. Hmm. Overcome it. <sighs> eh, that's pretty much everything I want from here. The fuck are you looking at? I don't know, what are you looking at? Somewhere hidden in one of these rooms, I can't remember which one, should be a dead hooker. Still can't pick that one. That might be where the girl is.
Don't really need any of the stuff in there. I'm thinking she must be in that room I can't get into. Is my lockpick skill? Right now, with my bonus, it's at 92. Did Benny beg before you burned his sorry ass? And now it's worn off. I'm not exceptionally close to leveling up, but I'm not terribly far from it. I'm thinking the girl must be in that room I can't get into. Because she's up here somewhere. I'll save here and we'll go talk to Kachino. And if he tries to start the end thing, then we'll have to reload and not do that. And figure out what it is I'm missing before I can get the pimp boy. Last time I finished this quest, before I remembered that hey, I hadn't done it Hey, what can I do for you? Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Ooh, now the bosses want to see you. All right, let's have him. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Yeah, Nero wouldn't even talk to us. He was a dick. Okay. So the only thing left to do is finish that quest. The Tops is a real snooze fest. I hope they get some new shows soon. The only thing I can think of is to go see if we have any new dialogue options with Clandon, now that we've talked to Kachino again. Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. Little bit of. I'm a. Kachino. Still nothing. But that's the only thing left in this quest. Other than going and talking to Kachino. But he's the one who brings all this shit into the strip. I guess we could try picking his pocket again. And I think he's got a key to that room and then maybe that? Might sort us out. No, 
He doesn't have a key to the right room anyway. He's only got a key to his own room. That didn't work. Khans finally got what they had coming. Glad we won't have to worry about them again. Maybe we could try talking to Big Sal? Nothing in the bathrooms here that's really worth grabbing. <clears throat> Should be a stairway in here so we can get upstairs. I've heard that elite units are on the way to support our armies here. Do a save just in case something goes badly. Because if we screw it up and finish this quest. We're never going to get the pimp boy. Tops is a real snooze fest. I hope they get some new shows soon. Okay, I don't know how useful that note actually is now, because he's already dead.
steal the eight ball from every pool table. It's just something I do. I collect them. sell stuff to this person over here. That'll help with my over cumberance. Hey there. Can I Well they have a little bit of money. Okay, I think. Well, hey there. Has Can I get apparently. you a? Sorry, it's not my business to get involved. Apparently, she doesn't have information. It's a fake out. Business is good. All the family's got money. Of course. Hey, you're Cacino's friend. You got business with me? Sorry, but I don't know you from Adam. And you don't have any business getting in our business. We run a hotel. What do you think our business is? All right, come back anytime. Of course, Gamora is where the action is. Well, I can't think of anything else that can be done. The next step in this quest is talking to Kachino. Khan's finally got what they had coming. Well, Glad we won't have to worry about them to again. Go upstairs and kill the bosses, and that's the end of the quest. So, I guess we're gonna go back to Mick and Ralph again and see if now we can have the Pimp Boy.
keep coming to the wrong gate. It's right beside the other gate. How's it going? How's it going, friend? Welcome back, buddy. Things were better when... Damn it. What am I missing? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Well, maybe I did something wrong in the quest and we're not going to be able to get the pimp boy. So you have to actually get somebody to tell you. Both the gun shipments. And I think you're supposed to get that information from Troik. Except for how he's dead now. Welcome back to Gamora. I think maybe we can't get the pimp boy. That's unfortunate. I hope my dad doesn't find out how much money those hookers cost me. Hey, what can I do for you? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They tasked me to find out who's responsible. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. Hm. I can make him do it all by himself. But it's Hurry and get ready. I'll give yourself. you a gun when you get to the room. He's real slow. We're heading up this way. As you can see, they're expecting us. Hey, here's that gun I promised you. I suggest using it while they are talking. 
Let's I'm have sure some words. Kill you after they Take talk. a seat on the couch so we can get to talking. So I assume you know why we called you here. Yeah, we lost some guns, you little weasel. However, we can get more guns. You slowed us down, but you can't stop us. You're gonna die of failure. Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan was. Yeah. As a last request, I guess we can give you that courtesy. The fuck? I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing, two-timing motherfucker. I knew this day would come. Yeah! But he didn't actually tell me anything. I wonder if I had clicked on the other option first, if he would have given me information that I can still use to get the pimp boy. remember where I was when I did this save. I don't think this was as recent as I'd like it to be. I don't think we can get the pimp boy now that we're done that quest. Which is unfortunate. Maybe next playthrough I'll do a little studying on how to make sure I do that properly and then we will actually get the pimp boy. Next time I'm in Mick and Ralph's, I'll try and talk to them again and see if it works, but I don't think it's going to. But either way, we got that quest done. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell- Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband.
He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a bighorn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. I don't suppose you... He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see, we're the only ones in pain. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Howdy, young lady. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. This is kind of just a random little quest you can finish at some point. Apparently, my perception isn't high enough, but you can convince them to uh, leave. Well, we haven't been to the Ultralux. There's also NCR over here. I can't remember if they actually have any quests for me or not. At this rate, one Securitron is going to be enough to defend the whole strip. Yeah, they're nobody. Drunk guy. Nelson's back in our hands. Pretty sure Hope these we can defend it this here time. Aren't anybody. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? Ma'am? Hello. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? That's excellent news. So they'll help us, right? Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Well, that was a nice, easy quest. Didn't even have to move. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? 
So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? <laughs> Ever been there? Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs, and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. See? That's exactly the type of information we can use. In fact, that's perfect. Those fancy weapons the Van Graffs pedal aren't exactly common. It goes without saying that actually getting the Van Graffs to do the deed would be the ideal solution. However, if Pacer were killed with either a laser or a plasma-based weapon, everyone would automatically assume the Van Graffs did it. Still, unless you want several dozen armed men at your throat, you'd have to kill them without being seen. Be careful. I'll leave the method up to you. However, there is an alternative if you'd rather try to handle things without bloodshed. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the King. Go and talk to the King. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here and we'll take it from there. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Okay. So off we go to see the king. We had pretty good rapport with the king. And my speech is pretty high. So I can probably convince him to deal with this diplomatically. But if not, we'll just go kill Pacer with one of our energy weapons. We're pretty reasonably stocked on them, so that should work out okay.
I've got my I've got my eye on you. You crossed the king. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. I'll give it my best. You've earned that much. But that makes us even, you hear? Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. The king is all that his name implies, and then some. Looks like Gamora's under new management. I wonder what happened. There's talk of someone going into the lucky... It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes? Do you have something to report? 
That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Well, I don't officially have access to any more funds, but here. This is from me personally. There's more coming your way, too. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. So we're making good progress with our NCR buddies. So now we're on part two. <clears throat> Bots have enough firepower to arm a full platoon. Probably not a bad time to do a save. I didn't do any of the quests for these guys last time, because I just walked near them and Boone started shooting. I don't even know why. He's on Team NCR. He's a ranger. He just started shooting, and then they didn't like me anymore. So far, it's going better this time. Uh, I'm going to take a super fast break here, so I'm going to... Just leave it like that. And I will be back in a couple minutes. Hopefully you guys can stick around until I get back. And I will see you guys soon.